if a prospective heir or beneficiary believes that for some reason the will does not accurately reflect the true intentions and desires of the decedent, they can bring an action which is called a will contest. That is actually a lawsuit that you file against the estate. Now there are basically two reasons, legal theories if you will, on why and when you can contest a will. First of all, if you believe that the decedent was incompetent at the time the will was written and signed, you can object to the will and have it thrown out. Now competence is the subject where the decedent must know the nature and extent of his assets, who his family members are, and have this plan in his mind that the attorney prepared. However, in our age now where dementia is a common problem and Alzheimer's, that may be a basis for attacking the will and saying it's truly not the desires and intentions of the decedent. The second reason is what's called undue influence. If you believe that some person has wrongfully influenced a decedent to write a will in a particular manner, you can go and ask the court to have the will thrown out, but the burden is on you to prove that in fact that person coerced or through duress got this person to write this will. That is very difficult to do because you weren't present when the will was prepared and signed. Now remember, there was an attorney that wrote that will. That attorney may not know why a decedent wants to distribute his property in a certain way, and he or she may not have any idea there's any duress or coercion, but I've seen it happen. So can it happen? Yes, but they are very difficult cases to try and win. I can give you a couple quick examples of where I've seen that occur. I saw an estate where the decedent had a power of attorney prepared by a relative who then brought it to the decedent in the nursing home and had a notary witness's signature. That relative then proceeded to basically take over a million dollars of the decedent's money during his lifetime and put it in her name and those of her family members. The interesting part about that case is that the power of attorney when it was executed and notarized, the notary did not know if the decedent was even competent at the time he signed the power of attorney giving this authority to that family member. We started a lawsuit. We got a substantial amount of money back from the decedent's estate after he died when the family realized the bulk of his estate had been taken by another relative. I have also seen cases where a decedent was in a hospital under heavy medications. A family member went and had a will prepared by a lawyer, obviously benefiting themselves, took the will to the hospital. The lawyer never met the decedent, never talked to him, but the decedent signed whatever was put in front of him, and that's the will that got probated. We filed a will contest against that will, showing clearly that the decedent was one, not competent, and also there was duress or coercion by a family member having a will written greatly in their favor.